As well as having your main calendar in Google Calendar, you can also have the option to create additional calendars. The reason you might want to do this is perhaps your main calendar is public, but you would want to add events that are private. So you could add a separate calendar for private events. Perhaps you've got a resource and you could use an additional calendar to book the resources. You can do this by clicking on your settings menu and then going to settings. And then under the general options down the side here, you can see we've got add calendar. If I click on here, the option we're looking for is create new calendar. In our example today, I'm going to create a calendar for parent meetings. Once I'm done, I can click create calendar. So you can see creation in progress there. Once it's done, you can see it's successfully created and I can go back into my calendar and you can see I've got my new calendar here. If I ever want to, I can click on the three dots and I can change the color of my calendar also. Then when I create a new entry in my calendar, so you can see here it's come through as my default calendar, which is my personal one. If I click here, I can see my additional calendars there. So I can click on the parents meetings. I can add my meeting here and click save. If I want to turn off that calendar, I can just turn off there to change the view. If I want to remove it, I can click the X to remove the calendar completely.